guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to Tablescape Thursday. If you haven't guessed it by now, this is Patriotic Week here at my house. Yes, I'm trying to get all my patriotic decorating done. And today, we're going to be setting this table, yes, patriotic way. So let's get started. Okay, first we're starting off with a centerpiece. Now this item here is that piece I showed on a previous video that I got from Home Goods. It was $9.99 and it was all white. I also showed you the sailboat and the lighthouse that I was painting with the red and the blue to change it up. So I just painted the outside edge red, the inside part blue, and I took some sandpaper and sanded off some of the colors so you can see some white. And inside, with the little dots that I did with the red and the blue, I just took the end of my paintbrush, um, one of my craft ones, that's the wooden end, and I just dipped it in the different colors of paint and made all the dots going around it. So now these little things here that I've just set around as a scatter, I'll show you what it originally was. I got these at uh, Walmart. I bought three of them. I um, can't really, I think they might have been three dollars for the thing. I, and they hang as you can see and I cut them off because I don't want them hanging. I personally don't like the way it looks. Uh, I think the blue should be in the middle in my opinion instead of having two reds and then a blue. That's just me. So if I was going to hang it, I would change it up because I might use these on a wreath or even hang them a different way with a different, uh, maybe with some jute or something. But that's what it originally was. So like I said, you can take something and make it look different. I just cut them up. You can place them around. And there is another way you could use these too, which I'll show you towards the end of the video. So now I'm going to put a couple more things here. And here's one of my patriotic chickens that is in the giveaway. I'm just going to set that there, like so. Then I have this Uncle Sam. This is another thing that I made a while back. And I am just going to set him right there. So I think that's basically all I'm going to do for the centerpiece. And now uh, we're going to put some chargers down. And I want to show you these uh, really cool chargers that I got at Pier 1. Now they have these in uh, red, white, and blue, and the stars are cut out, as you can see. So I thought I'd get the blue, because I have a white tablecloth. And let's put this down here a little bit. You can see how the stars look white. Now if you don't use a tablecloth, because I, I was playing around with my setting to figure out what I wanted to do, you can take, I have my white charger, which fits perfectly. And then you have the stars. Like I said, I personally wanted the blue because I was thinking more of the blue and white, you know, on the flag. But they do have them in white and in red. So these are just going to be set around first uh, since you can see it with the tablecloth. I'm not going to use the chargers. So I'm going to set these around and then we'll do the next setting. Okay, the next plate I'm using is my flag plate. Now I have the salad plates that match this. Grab it here real quick. You can see. So basically what I thought I would do is I'm going to use these, but I'm not going to use the salad plates. I'm using a different plate, but my first option I was going to do was set the red plates and then use the salad plate on top of it. So that is another option for me to do, but for this one, since I'm doing something uh, more uh, fancier with uh, my napkin, I didn't want to cover up the flag and I want to see the flag. So we're going to use these plates. So now I'm going to place these around and then I will grab the next plate. Alright, the next plate I'm using is just a solid red plate that I'm putting on there. Like I said, I've got a little bit more fancier type napkin. So like I said, you could use the other plates together, even put both of them together, but I didn't want to cover up too much of the flag. But I kind of like the, the way the red is on here. So let me place these around and then I'm going to get the napkins. Before I do the napkins, I forgot I wanted to show you um, the things that I cut off the hanging. You could also just set them, you know, inside on your plates here. Next up, actually, so I'll put it over and that one there. And of course, the blue would look nice too on the red plates here. That would be a, another option, and then you could put your napkin off to the side, but I'm going to be putting my napkins on top of the plates. 
So, grab this one off. And here is what I've done with my napkins. Now, isn't this just the cutest napkin ring? This is my DIY napkin ring. And I'm gonna place all of these around and I'm gonna show you how to make this napkin ring. Okay, so basically I just have my blue napkins right here, got kind of a two-tone. And then I have this one that says Stars and Stripes Forever. I got both of these at Pier 1, so I just have them together. All right, so here's the napkin ring. It is a pick, that's all it is. And as you can see, I have everything all curled up on the others and spread out. So now, that's all you have to do to it. Now, I just use my finger and wrap it around like so, and then pull it out. I just did that to all of it. If you want your curls to be tighter, I've always uh, used my uh, little craft paint brushes for that also, because I like to have little curly cues. Like I said, basically that's all you're doing. So you go around, I'll do this really quick as fast as I can. Because then you're going to spread it out once you get it on the napkin. And I really like this one because it has the little flag stuck in there. And not just the red, white, and blue uh, pit berries and the things. So there. So that's that. So then I'm going to take, it's going to bend it a little bit. You're just going to twist it around, get it on here. Then you're going to take one of these, any of the pitberry things, and you're just going to twist the ends like that. Then what you do is pull all your curls around the way you want them. And put your flag where you want it. And that is all you do. That's all there is to it. You have a very unique napkin ring. And so basically, you can take anything and make a napkin ring out of it. Okay, and it's just going to set on top of the plate like so. I wish I could say I had some really cute uh, glassware. I looked at some, but I uh, didn't really see anything that I liked. So it's just going to be uh, regular glassware going on. So let's go grab okay, it. So what I've done is I've just taken my really tall drinking glasses and my plastic red, white, and blue flatware and just stuck it in there. I think that's a fun touch right there. So basically that is going to be it for the tablescape. I am going to do a pan around so you can see things closer and then we'll close it out. everybody enjoyed the tablescape today and that I could give you some ideas how to take a few simple items um, and change them up and put them on your table just to dress it up a little bit. Now I do want to touch base with everybody about the tablescapes. I am thinking about slowing down on them because they're just not getting the traffic that they used to and these do take some time to plan and to get the videos going so I'm thinking about only doing them uh, every other week. But you know, also, I was also thinking that uh, possibly, you know, the crafting in the kitchen that I've done a couple times, that maybe I should start doing that instead of the tablescapes. So I would appreciate it if you would give me your feedback by give, leaving me a comment if you'd rather see tablescapes or crafting in the kitchen section where we do a craft item. So, um, like I said, I'm 
I just don't know what to do at this point with those. Uh, I like doing the tablescapes, but like I said, they just take some time to do. So if everybody could just uh, give me their feedback, I would really appreciate it. So we're going to close out the video now, and I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.